So I'd like to start with how Trash Arts came about. How did your organisation get founded? Uh, Trash Arts started in 2007. It was a small group of filmmakers who wanted to work together and start just making films. We'd all just finished college um, and I didn't particularly want to go to university and learn more about filmmaking. I just wanted to go out there and make films and expect to make a lot of mistakes, which we have. We've made so many mistakes. But that's the good thing with filmmaking on an independent level. You can learn so much from failing so much, which works out nicely. And with the events, it was kind of a question of, at first it was used to try and fund the films, but then we started working with more musicians and uh, we did a couple of uh, Sunday clubs where we were doing constantly weekly events at Drift Bar and the registry. And when you get to start doing 40 bands a month, you start to meet a lot more different people and it makes you want to just keep on going really. And although it's a very difficult environment to make films and to run events, it doesn't really matter because people like to come together and hopefully these events get the opportunity to do that. How can interested people get involved in the work of the hub? If people want to get involved with Trash Arts, they can go uh, via the website trasharts.co.uk, uh, Facebook or uh, Twitter. And really, the, the best thing I would suggest is for people just to come and speak to us. We're happy to take to work with new people and work with the ideas they've got and getting them work on our projects. Like, uh, we're doing this web series at the moment and we've been encouraging people just to come along and cruise certain parts. I'm more than happy to help people with the future of their projects as long as we can all work together and get something out of it collectively. Sam, thank you very much. No.